Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today with the whole like concept of banning porn and regulating porn and all that shit in the news, uh, I figured I might as well talk about it to an extent. Um, I'm obviously not going to support banning porn or regulating it to any extent because I believe that people have the right to make their own judgments for themselves and because I'm an individualist. I believe in Western values. Uh, so. Um, I don't think that the government has any sort of role in uh, regulating porn because, I mean, that's your right to do what you want. It's your mind, your body, uh, your judgment, do what the f do whatever the fuck you want. And also, morally, it's a somewhat uh, difficult line to draw as well. It's very difficult to say that porn is immoral, necessarily. Um, I think it's easy to say that the actresses in porn and actors are acting immorally because um, it's not, I would not consider it moral to engage in very, very promiscuous sex like that. That's very, that's very uh, degrading to your own sense of life and your own values by basically giving your body and your, um, and giving sex to basic, to anybody that wants it. Um, I could see a possi possibility that like, maybe if these people need the money that's something that's okay um i i don't know this that's that's an that's an iffy question i'm not i am not a big fan of the promiscuity of these uh, porn actors and i'd say that's probably immoral i yeah it's very likely that's that's immoral um it's not necessarily something for me to judge because it's basically these people's own individual values and yeah, but promiscuous sex is not moral. Promiscuous sex uh, basically degrades your own faculty for having, or degrades your own view of sex because it's you're just giving it to anyone and ultimately lowers the pleasure that you get from sex because it's just some empty physical sort of thing that, yeah. I mean, ultimately, promiscuous sex is not very moral. Uh, but I don't think it should be banned because you still have the right to make your own judgments. You have the right to use your own mind. That's your means of survival. Your individual mind is your means of survival. And if the government gets involved and tells you you can't use that, you're never going to live as a human being, which means live with the purpose of happiness. And you, so you're never going to find happiness in that sense. Uh, that's something that, um, I mean, you just need to understand that there's not going to be some deductive sort of proof for why you can't find happiness without using your mind and thinking for yourself. Uh, that is something that you need to introspect and realize that is true in your own life. I mean, I definitely know it's true. I've seen and looking around in other people, you also definitely see that that is the case. Um, now, for someone who is using porn, I'm not necessarily sure that that's immoral. Um, I think the fact that you are essentially taking pleasure in promiscuous sex, uh, I think that taking pleasure in watching immoral sex happen, I think that's probably immoral. So I, there's, there's a sense in which I do think porn is immoral. I don't think, I don't necessarily think that using it as a stimulus is, is a super, super immoral thing just to like get you turned on to like masturbate or do anything like that. Or like before sex, I don't know. I've never had any sort of experience with like using porn to get ready for sex or something. Maybe that's a thing with old people who have like erectile dysfunction that can help them. I don't know. That's, I don't know. I could see that as a legitimate usage. I think Peacock probably, I think Peacock talked about something related to that in the past. I don't know shit about that though. Um, that's, that's more boomer knowledge from my understanding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so essentially I, I'm very iffy on porn. I don't think porn is necessarily moral because you're taking pleasure in immoral sex in watching it. And yeah, I don't, it's should be something that we find a lot more disgusting than it is because promiscuous sex degrades sex. It takes away from the spiritual value of sex, which is definitely something that's involved. The sort of pride that you get from sex and the sort of pleasure in another person's spiritual values. Uh, sex is not just some material action um, that is very empty and anyone who's had any sort of experience with just that empty sex with random people and strangers should understand that fact uh, yeah and I think 
but I think people can have very perverse motivations when it comes to sex and pornography too, and I think that can also be very damaging. If you're watching porn just as like a sort of escapism from life because you're like, oh, I can never find this sort of thing, so you're just going to go... It's I mean, it's a similar thing to masturbation. Masturbation, if you use it as more of like a um, sort of sexual self-sufficiency sort of thing and just like a pleasure thing when you can't... Or, yeah, as sort of just a celebration sort of thing celebration of life sort of thing just where you are finding pleasure in it and it's not getting in the way of your life then it's okay um uh, but if it's sort of like an escapism from f sort of an escape from the reality or reality and this idea that you're alone and you just need to masturbate because that's the only pleasure you're gonna feel and yeah that's no that's a stupid really stupid uh sort of motivation and it's the same that motivation can also be used uh, for pornography as well, and I think that can also be a little more prevalent. Just this idea of you're lonely and just or or you're bored or anything like that. Um, yeah, or you feel like you can't, or you feel like you can't get stimulated with any, with any. That's very dangerous. If you feel like you can't get stimulated with, any, with anything but porn, that means you probably need to get yourself off of porn because I mean that. You want to be able to be stimulated by things that are real. I mean, pornography is not real sex in a sense because, I mean, there's literally there's literally no spiritual value in pornography at all. It's just these um, very promiscuous people engaging in very fake sex, essentially. Um, that It's some of the most empty sex you will ever see in your life. Um, and if that's the only thing that can turn you on... Uh, yeah, that's that's very dangerous because you want to be able to be turned on by something real. Um, there's a, actually a sense in which pornography can help you determine what your values are related to sex. You just can't use it too much. You can't begin to... or Yeah, because pornography gives you all these different sort of options to choose from. And just by looking at that, you can understand your own sexual preferences better. But you don't want pornography to become a sort of sexual preference where it's something that you take a lot of pleasure and it's the only thing you can sort of watch plus pornography taking pleasure in pr promiscuity is very very is not not a very moral thing i've been repeating myself a lot throughout this video um but yeah that's my main point i don't i personally would don't want don't like using porn um I obviously have partaken, so I'm not. So it's very hypocritical of me to just say, "Yeah, porn is super immoral. Never do it." I mean, I've definitely used pornography in the past, um, but I think it's something that I largely want to stop using and rely more on imagination. Or, yeah. So, yeah, rely more on imagination when it comes to masturbating and shit like that. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.